corn sugar. Sweet. If only we could solve all our problems by changing names. Actors solve the problem of run-of-the-mill names like Marion Morrison and Carlos Ray by choosing tough guy names like John Wayne and, yes, Chuck Norris. The people of Ismay, Montana grabbed national headlines by renaming their town for a while after the football player Joe Montana. They scored big publicity. The right name can make over a weapon of mass destruction. Nuclear missile sounds much more menacing than a helpful, friendly peacekeeper missile. Danny Altman founded a company called 100 Monkeys, nice name. It's a company that helps name other companies. He says picking a new name for a product or person goes to the core of an identity. You know, in a way, it's one of the most outrageous things that you can do because you, your name is, is so basic and fundamental to who you are and, and how uh, people think about you. If you want to change a name, the new name should be descriptive, be unique but not absurd, and create an emotional connection. Don't like going to work? Just rename your office the Productivity Playground because names change behaviors. Not many people were eating a fish called the slime head until it became the more appetizing orange roughy. A name that rolls off the tongue and makes that fish easier to swallow. Now folks want to do the same thing with Asian carp, an invasive species taking over America's lakes and rivers. They want to rename it Kentucky tuna and let the deep frying begin. After all, give a man a fish and he'll eat for a day. Teach a man to rename a fish and he'll eat pretty much anything.